Hey guys! I'm on my Facebook the other day when I came across a comment posted by Q that really got me excited. It read, I saw that you like ribbon ties, did you know that you can make them at home using fold over elastic? Say what? No way. I've got to try this. So I booked it over to the local craft store to look for some fold over elastic. And sure enough, there it was, a whole section full of various colors and patterns. They even sell elastics with ruffles. Oh, you fancy, huh? They also sell different sized elastics for, say, a headband, maybe? I just picked up a few neutrals, black and gray with a pop of my favorite color, yellow. And the only other thing you'll need to make these are some scissors, preferably fabric scissors, but whatevs. Okay, so this is a goodie brand ribbon tie that I bought from the store. I'm just taking it apart. Now I'm gonna grab one of my new colors and place it next to the store-bought ribbon to measure the size and then cut it where appropriate. Another way is to just measure the store ribbon, which is nine inches by the way, and just measure out nine inches on your new color. But I'll give you a hint, one package of ribbon at the craft store, which is one yard, is gonna give you four perfect size ribbon ties. So skip all the measuring and just cut four even pieces. Okay, so just fold each piece in half. I like to stick my pinky in the loop for stability, but that's just being extra. And then just tie a knot in the very end of the opening and tighten to secure your hair tie. It's that easy, so just repeat the process on all the cut pieces, folding it in half and tying a knot at the very end to secure it. And that's it. Again, a standard one yard package will yield four ribbon ties. So moving forward, just take your ribbon off, fold it in half, twice, and cut the ends to make four even sized hair ties. And here's to compare, the homemade ribbon on top and goodie brand ribbon below. They're identical. And if you want to keep them organized, you can store the completed ribbon ties right on the same packaging you bought them on. So this is pretty exciting guys, the possibilities are now endless for your favorite gentle ribbon hair ties. And you would never know the difference between store bought and homemade. Now if you're like me, you're probably doing the math in your head. Hmm, one yard is $3 at the store and makes four ribbon ties. But I can just buy four ribbon ties for $5 and save my time and energy, right? Am I right? Okay, so forget buying them at the craft store. If you go online, there are websites and Etsy shops where you can get 10 yards for $5. That's 50 cents a yard. So now that's 40 ribbon ties for only $5. Does that sound like a money saver or what? I'm stoked and I've already bought my 10 yards. Okay, so enough rambling guys. Get out there and start making your hair ties. It's so easy and they're extremely gentle on your hair. I really hope you give this a try, and if so, please send me a picture on Instagram by hashtagging natural85. I want to see the ribbon tie madness. So I hope this helps guys. A super shout out and big thank you to Q for this fantastic DIY, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! More DIYs like these cute wire headbands and homemade deep conditioner by clicking the links to the left. And come visit the family and I over on my daily vlog channel. We'll see you guys there. Those things I can't find you.